Hello everybody, it's Jeff with AZ Camera Reviews and today we're going to be reviewing a new scooter. This is an Evercross electric scooter and uh, I had bought this other scooter for myself and I wanted my wife Nisma to have something to be able to drive on also so I figured I'd give this Evercross a, uh, a try and see what it looks like. So let's open the box, let's see what's inside and you know take it from there. So we'll got the trusty knife as always and we will open up the box. Okay, it looks like it's rather well packed. I'll just tilt the box over so you can see what it looks like. And in the top here, you've got the power supply. And we'll just kind of put that aside. And then you've got some styrofoam. And then you've got some more styrofoam. And it looks like this is probably protecting the head or one of the heads. The styrofoam just came off. Okay, and actually what it is is it's, uh, it's protecting the front wheel. It comes folded inside the box. So let's just try pulling it out now and see how it comes out of the box. Okay. Now before, before I show you the actual unit, what I'm going to do is I want to show you there's some other parts inside the box. I'll pull them out and I'll show them to you. You've got a, uh, a manual, the Evercross manual. You've got uh, a small bag in here. Let's see what's in here for parts. It looks like you have an Allen key. Let's see if there's anything else in here. And there's um, two hex screws that will probably go, uh, these probably go into like so. And they've each got a little drop of Loctite on them. And I'll show you how and where these things go on close up here in a couple of seconds. Then you've also got, let's see, this is installation and upright tube, so on and so forth. And you can scan this QR code and it probably gives you instructions. And then let's see, there's, there's a bag in here. I wonder if this is the, it's, it's a cover. And, uh, oh, this is really nice. It's an Evercross carrying case, which is, kind of cool. It, uh, I guess when you fold the thing down, you can put it inside this case and you can just carry it around wherever you need to go. This box, by the way, and this, this scooter doesn't seem as heavy as this one, this one over here is. This, this scooter is really hard and it's heavy and it's not as portable, I don't think, as this one is, but we'll find out later. And then um, also in here is a little box which kind of came crushed. And just inside here is the power cord for the power supply. So that's it for, for stuff that comes in the box. So we'll just kind of throw the box aside. And now let's, let's see what, what this looks like. Okay, we're going to pull it out of the bag. Wow, this one's got a front end shock absorber, whereas the other one didn't, which, well, it does. The other one does, but it's not, doesn't seem to be as nice as this one is. Okay, and we'll pull off this foam. Okay, pull this off. And uh, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to stop down here for a minute and I'm going to cut all these tie wraps off because uh, I don't want to do it with the knife uh, because I don't want to scratch anything and we'll come back and show you in close up how this works and how it goes together. So now we have the whole thing unpacked. I took off all the foam and everything and we're going to install the, uh, the actual stem onto the front wheel. So as you can probably see here, there's an, there's an arrow right here and then there's an arrow on top. So what you're going to want to do is, you're going to flip this up into position and what we'll do is we'll just kind of preliminarily line it up. So now take a look at this front wheel and everything and you'll see 
when it comes, it's this way. So what you're going to have to do is you're going to have to rotate the front wheel until it's kind of straight and we'll kind of fine tune that after. Then you've got these two screws that came with the, uh, with the, with the scooter and I showed you those earlier. And there's two indentations right here and what you're going to do is you're going to pop these screws in. And you can also see they've got a little bit of Loctite on them so hopefully they won't back out. So what you're going to do is you're just going to kind of finger tight this right now. We'll put them in and we'll, we'll tighten them up. We'll torque them up so then that way when we, uh, when we try to snap the front wheel into position, the stem doesn't come off in our hand. Okay, we'll tighten these bad boys up. Okay. And now what we have to do is we have to snap this into position so that the front wheel will be in position. Now, you'll notice there's, uh, there's two snaps and these are going to go into these little holes. So you're going to have to lift this up and quite vigorously you're going to have to snap it into position. Now as you can see it's uh, gone into the holes and the front is locked. Now over here there's a kickstand and we can throw that kickstand down. Now I want to show you something up here. Now while I was doing this you can see that the, uh, the knob went into position. Now, it's, it can be a little bit tricky, okay? So I want to show you how you're going to flip these up and down. On the back side of this knob right here, on the handle, there's a little button, okay? And this is how this flips in. This is how this flips in, okay? Now most people are going to think on the instructions that you use these two things right here. One is the throttle, one is the brake. That's not how you disengage these. You have to push this little button right here. And this little button disengages the handle like that. And then you can use your thumb here. You push on this and you pull it and you bring it down. Okay, so now, now these are all locked in. That all looks good. Now what we want to do is we want to bring this up to the proper height. Now this is a little low, maybe a little low. So what we're going to do is we're going to bring this up. But you know what I notice? Look at, look at this right now. This is straight but the front wheel isn't straight. So what we're going to want to do is we're going to want to straighten out the front wheel so that it's straight with the handlebar. So I'm going to twist this until it's basically straight. I just need a little more. Okay, still not quite the way I want it. Okay, that looks good. So now let's go in here, like I said, and let's tighten these down real good. Come on, get in there. Okay, and we'll do this one. And you shouldn't have to pop these screws ever again. Okay, there we go. Make it a little tighter. Okay, that's good and tight. And we'll do that, and that's good and tight. Now, I mentioned to you folks about the height adjustment. Now, this is one height. Now, if you look here, there's two little indentations. To get it up to the next height, you have to push this and it snaps into place, okay? And then you, you push it again, you can go down to the next position, and that's in that position. Okay, so basically, it's ready to ride now, okay? But let's take a quick look at the, uh, the dashboard on this thing and see what we got. So, if you look on here, you have this button, you push this, and you get this really nice color display. I think this thing looks totally, totally awesome. And right here is your throttle, and over here is your, uh, your brake. And I think it's an electronic brake because I don't feel any, uh, any resistance when you push on it. And you'll also see back here, this is also a brake. But when you push the brake button, you'll see this light come on, so people know that you're braking also.
Now also on here, let's see, you have a speed button and this gives you a variety of different top speeds. Okay, and like I said, I haven't played with this really enough to know. This here is for the front light. When you push this button, the light goes on and off. And it's got a pretty nice front light. And then you've got a set, I think it must have like a, uh, a cruise control or something. And uh, I haven't like really looked at the book or anything, but that's how the front uh, speedometer looks. And I'm going to figure out how to change it from kilometers an hour to miles per hour. And then we'll take it outside and uh, we'll take it for a ride. So uh, we'll be back in a minute. So after painstakingly looking at the manual and not finding it in the manual how to change it from kilometers per hour to miles per hour, uh, we were able to find a place online uh, that to told us how to change it. Now the other thing that's important is you're going to want to change this over from the cruise control uh, mode which it comes shipped in to the manual mode and we're going to show you how to do that. So come on over here and let's take a quick look. So here's all your buttons. First thing we're going to do is we're going to turn the display on and then what we're going to do is hit these two buttons and that's going to put it into this mode right here. Then what you're going to do is you're going to hit the set mode until you go to number 23. And now it's set in zero. What you're going to do is you're going to come over here to this button and you're going to hit it and then it's going to set it to number one. Then what you're going to do is you're going to hit these two buttons right here and now it's in miles per hour. Now what we're going to do is we're going to change this over to, uh, to take the cruise control off. So we're going to hit these both again Okay, and what we're going to do is we're going to come over, hit the set button to number eight. Oops, I overdid it, so let's go one more time. Okay, and now we're going to come over here and we're going to change this to zero. We're going to back out, we're going to hit these two buttons. And now the cruise control's off. So as long as we're in this area right over here, something I want to talk about is the power input. And this is, this is the power input right here. And basically what you're going to do is you're just going to take this power supply, you'll plug that into there, and that's how you charge it. Now we're ready to go outside. We're ready to take it for a test run. I'm going to change my shoes first because I'm wearing flip-flops. I want to wear a pair of shoes that will be safe. So now we're outside, we're going to give this baby a test drive. Uh, one thing I want to stress is on the front end here, you've got this little lock, okay? Basically what you want to do is you want to make sure once you've got it into those, those little detents that I talked about right here, you want to lock the front. So we've got that all set, we're basically ready to go. Something else I wanted to talk about is when you step on this back, when you're, when you're driving on this, this is the master brake and it'll uh, engage the back brake as well as the front brake. And uh, now I guess we'll just be ready to take it for a ride, so I'm going to power this bad boy up. Okay, and, uh, and we're ready to go. the horn.
So it goes pretty good slow also. It's a, it's a nice little scooter, runs pretty darn smooth. I mean, I'm just going at a walking pace right now. As you can see, I've got my brother, who's the camera guy. He's, uh, he's just kind of walking next to me. You know, something that I wanted to do in the beginning was, I wanted to rip this piece of plastic off. So we finished riding it for the day, and now we're ready to collapse it, put it back in its bag, and take off. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to take this latch right here. We're going to back it off. And now we're going to push this little key right here. We're going to collapse this. Now comes the fun. We're going to collapse the front uh, handlebar into the back. So what you want to do is, and I'm finding that this is the easiest way to do it, is I grab this like this, okay? I lift the back wheel, put pressure on the back wheel, and then I fold it up like that. Then what happens is there's a little catch right here. You see it? And that's going to pull into there. See, now you can, you can lift this up and it's all one piece. Now, let me put the kickstand down for a minute. Well, it doesn't like to stand up real well, but it'll stand up on its own like that. Let's see how it goes into the bag. So, let's put the bag down on the ground. Let's place it in the middle of the bag. Bring, oh, we can't forget, we gotta press the, the finger locks and Okay, hang on a second here, so I can get a good thing on the finger lock. There we go, there's one, and then there's two. Let's fold those back, we'll bring this up, and let me pull up the zipper. Need to push this back a little bit. Okay, and now we're traveling. Until next time, I'm Jeff with AZ Camera Review saying, please watch us, please like us, please share us, and most of all, please subscribe. Bye-bye.